Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics and we're here to do a review on this experiment. Now this experiment involves ladies under wire bras and growing diaphragmas next to them. So we can see we've got the, the left under wire here and we've got the right under wire here and they're held together by a lollipop stick and some tape. So they're not actually touching and a wireless radiation engineer would actually recognize that setup as a dipole radio frequency antenna system. So we're going to start with the best and we're going to work our way down to the worst plant. So these are Diefenbachias and the thing that the Diefenbachia typically has is it has leaves the size of your hand with heavy patterning and they're dull. So we've got the patterning and the leaf looks like a miniature Diefenbachia leaf but it's not fully grown. And that is partly because my house is filled with radio frequency radiation and it's known to deform the Diefenbachia. In my house I've grown plenty of Diefenbachias that have deformed at this property. Now that radio frequency radiation, it's coming from three cell phone towers, which are about 2000 to 2300 feet away. And it's also coming from a microwave alarm sensor that is in my living room and smart utility meters. And in my area, they are AMR, AMI meters. And there's many of them installed into this community that I live in. So seeing a deformed Diefenbachia is not that surprising. You can see that it largely depends on the leaf that it's putting up as to whether or not you get the patterning or not. We look lower down, we don't see the patterning. But here's one of the original leaves and you can see it's actually much larger. So that's our control plant. The control plant has no underwire and is actually exhibiting the best growth. So let's go to this one. So this one is not as good as the control plant. You see the leaves have gone shiny and there's no real patterning in the leaves. We've got one of the old leaves right here. So you can see it's a very large leaf, but the ones that are coming up are very small. So this one is showing stress and I'll show you why that is occurring. And look down here, you can see it. So right there, that's the end of the underwire. So we've got a left and right underwire in here. So here's the right underwire. So it's actually embedded into the soil. So this was an underground underwire exposure and it seems to have had an effect on the plant. So that was very, very interesting. So here's our underwire bra above the above the ground so this underwire just sits in the plant and it is acting like an antenna system to all this wireless radiation that is in the area so again this configuration of antenna is called a dipole antenna so this dipole antenna configuration is having a very adverse effect on this plant and it's putting up these shiny, glossy, miniature Diefenbachia leaves. So this is a radio frequency exposed plant. So this is what happens to the Diefenbachia when you expose it to a large level of radio frequencies. And it's getting those radio frequencies from these underwires, which are picking up on the extensive radio frequency emissions that are present in this area. So I'm going to pull back so you can see all plants together. So there we have it. So the left one is the control. The middle one is the underwire in the roots. And the right one is the above ground underwire exposure. And the one that most represents the way that women were these underwires is this plant. So this is getting the above ground exposure, which is the way ladies wear their underwire bras. So if I was a lady, 
I would be very, very concerned about wearing a metal underwire. I haven't seen this experiment. And uh, yeah, I think if you're a lady and you can avoid getting bras with metal underwires in them, then that would be a very smart idea. I really hope you enjoyed this experiment and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.